Hello there and welcome into WCSN's continuing coverage of Arizona State men's basketball. Alongside Bray and Bell, I'm Rob Warner at Wells Fargo Arena where the Arizona State Sun Devils just took down the USC Trojans 80-78. Bray in a wild finish here at Wells Fargo. Trey Holder making something out of nothing, hitting a game winner with 1.8 remaining. What can a shot like that do for an Arizona State team that struggled recently? Well, it's huge. It was the epitome of onions. It was driving down the lane, banking in a shot that we've seen Trey Holder make hundreds of times throughout his career here in Tempe, but this one was different, like you said. His first ever buzzer beater, basically, to win a game for Arizona State. And, and what does it mean, you ask? I'm, I'm not going to dive into that question, because we try to do it every game, and every single time we guess, we're wrong. So I don't know what it means long term, but I know what it means tonight. It means a win, and that is all that matters for Arizona State. That is all that matters when you play on this floor, when you're struggling in conference play, and you're playing a good team in USC. If the Trojans would have won tonight, they would have been tied for first in the Pac-12 Conference. That obviously didn't happen, and ASU has another resume-boosting win when you're looking at March you know, possibilities going forward. So it was a big win for Arizona State in that regard, and also just to kind of get your confidence back after a tough Washington trip where they split, still looking for that first sweep impactful play. But it, it was a huge win. The fans were pumped up, and you could tell this team was almost relieved after that win. And the final two minutes were really important for Arizona State. They were down 78-73. How did they kind of claw their way back into this one and get the win? It's crazy. Now, think about it if you're USC. You haven't won a game here at Wells Fargo Arena in the bank in 10 years. It's been a decade, folks, since USC's won. And, and ASU hasn't been good every single year. This isn't like the McHale Center, but, you know, it, it's been really a struggle for them, and it's almost reminiscent of last year's game against USC, a game where USC led almost throughout, then they blew it late. That's what we saw here tonight. USC, basically for 37 minutes of this game, played very well offensively. The final two and a half or so, extremely sloppy. And a lot of times in conference play, it comes down, especially in close games, it comes down to the team that is the most composed late in the game. Tonight, it wasn't even close. Arizona State was very, very composed on offense. USC was sloppy on offense, and that, and that that's where you decide the game. And so Arizona State, just be one quality team from Southern California, they're going to have to take on another one in UCLA on Saturday evening. UCLA just took down Arizona tonight. What is Arizona State going to have to try to do to, to rebound from this, this good win and get another win against UCLA? Well, it's going to be tough. As my friend Bill Walton would say, there are no truck stops in this conference. Every single game is tough. And, and if you followed Arizona State basketball through this season in Pac-12 play, you know that. I mean, there's no easy game. And UCLA is a good team, like you just said. Winning at McHale Center, not an easy thing to do. So they're going to have a lot of confidence coming in here, here to Wells Fargo Arena. But so is Arizona State. I mean, you got to think. They just came back, won a game that... You know, maybe they shouldn't have won the way it looked. They come back, steal a win against USC, and now you're going to be playing at home again in front of a, a great crowd that is expected at Wells Fargo Arena on a Saturday. And, and, you know, the team really wants this sweep. You can tell. They have not swept a weekend series in the Bobby Hurley era. One game away, they've, they've been there before, not yet so far this conference season, but a win against UCLA, and who knows, guys? I mean, this team could be back on track. Maybe not the number three team in the country, but they could be back on track where a lot of people expected them to be. So ASU in a dogfight win over USC tonight. They might have another dogfight against UCLA on Saturday evening. Brad and I guarantee to be back in these chairs we on will Saturday be evening. I promise you, we will be. But for right now, alongside Braden Bell, I'm Rob Warner in Tempe, Cronkite Sports.